everyone welcome back to Ale Vlogs today we are heading towards Eastern Christian College especially for a program uh, my brother younger brother Ellen Ale he is uh, going to do a book reading program and then Ellen is also with me maybe he can highlight something about the program in brief yeah. he's at the back Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my brother's channel. Today I'll be going to Eastern Christian College to do book reading along with the book reading club. So after reading some passages, uh, there will be book signing and also Q&A session. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Okay, thank you. So once we reach the college and I will be doing a vlog on it. There's a uh, writer, he's a singer, is a better, is a man of multi talent. So uh, we are very fortunate to get all of you this evening for this book reading program. You may be wondering why I'm sitting and talking in this very casual, informal manner. Because this is what we have planned for. This is an informal program, so I would like to uh, make a half aware that please feel free once our resource person is done reading a book. We'll have a time for Q&A, so please feel free, relax, and have an interactive session with him. And let's get to know what is there in becoming the light. So with this, uh, I would also like to uh, request our vice president, Nikolov, Captain Nikolov, to kindly hand over a small token of love from our side to this Stand with One. So good to see so many young people out here. And uh, I really want to thank Sir Aloto and Ma'am Ma also for organizing such event because during my time, high school, college, BA or MA, there was no book readers club. And how I wish I could travel back to time and be a part of such clubs, right? So you are so fortunate to be in such a club. And I really hope that your teachers will continue to bring or organize such programs where you can learn more than your academic books also. Something beyond the textbook. Well, uh, as we all know, uh, reading is the losing art. If you just ask, when I was selling my book, at least out of 10, average person around 6 or 7, they don't read book. So even my customer also is very limited. So it is very hopeful to see so many young people who are interested in reading books. And now I'll tell you why reading book is very important. Because when we read books, we become empathetic. Many book readers, we kind of tend to attach to the skin of the character. We try to be in their depth and density. And that is how we have a bigger, larger understanding of human nature. And reading also unlocks critical thinking. When we read mystery books, we try to solve the problem, right? Critical thinking is, I think, the most potent skill to cope up with survival or adaptation with our environment. And book offers you that. And also, book connects you to human experience. And it helps you broaden up your perspective, also your ideology. So in short, my point here is, reading books only make us a better person, not worse. So I would really like to encourage all of you to keep reading. Well, today, uh, I will not be taking much time because I don't talk very much, okay? I only talk to the point. <laughs> even with friends or even at home or work, I make sure that I always speak to the point and then uh, complete the work because I know that time is precious, so let's make it a short but a very interesting uh, experience for all of you. But uh, before that, I want to request all of you to give me your 100% atten attention because I'm going to take you through an experience. And through that experience, I'm going to use different colors 
and paint the story and you will get to see that. So uh, this book, Becoming the Light, in short, is a story about a man called Molungki who undertakes a journey, a quest to resolve past mistakes done by his ancestors. And in the process, he goes through so many challenges and he discovers so many things about his own self, which is self-discovery, but also he tries to bring a solution for the people. So the theme used in this book is ancestral blessing, uh, which is very much relatable to all of us, which if we clearly follow folk tales, and even beyond that, we all believe in ancestral blessing. There's always the blessing of our ancestor around us, right? So this book touches in that theme. And well, I'll be reading only four passages, which might not be very short, not very long, but in the medium range. So I hope you'll all be with me in this uh, journey. On the same night, the priest of Tungmang Lima saw a dream. The next morning, he gathered everyone to share the interpretation of his dream, fuming with anger. After a few seconds of constant staring at her, her pinch expression became normal. For all of you to climb up and find out, right? <laughs> so thank you so much. Yeah. I became the editor of the college and that is how my calling started to come from God, like small hints, okay? And I was really passionate about writing. And then after BA, I decided to do my MA in journalism. And there I was very much focused in print journalism writing, no? So in that, during that time, I was studying in Dehradun, a city filled with trees, woods, wildlife, very inspiring. And I even got the opportunity to meet Raskin Bon. So during one of my summer break, I always had the idea to write a book, but I had no idea to write what book. I wanted to write, but I had no idea what book in particular. So I met one uh, friend, Naveen. So as we were discussing, he used to read my write-ups in Facebook and in the blog, and he used to appreciate my writing a lot. So he told me, Alan, why don't you write something about Naga superhero? Because this book is one of a kind. US have Marvels, uh, Avengers. India has Krish, Shaktiman. What about Nagaland? So the outcome of that conversation is the result here. So Mulungki is the first superhero from Nagaland. So uh, there will be more exciting episodes, more parts coming where he will be fighting different issues that we are all struggling with right now. So I might be using the character to voice out so many things that is happening in Nagaland directly or indirectly through him. So that was my inspiration. And it took me three years to complete this book. Uh, and one fun fact, extra fact, I ended up writing part one and part two at the same time, which I don't know which any writer have done till now, but I wrote part one, part two. I wanted to complete everything at one go. So it took me three years. So part two is almost ready. So please watch out for more updates. I started with Christian literature. Since I was the editor, I, I dealt mostly on Christian literature, writing anecdotes, testimonies and all. When I did my masters, it was journalistic style of writing. And I did a lot of uh, different types of writing. With this, this is fiction. So I am someone who is very much open to different kinds of genres as a writer. So in the future, uh, since this is fiction, you might expect a non-fiction also or maybe since i'm very sarcastic in nature you might expect a satir satirical book about our life in general also or maybe even a scientific book also like a book about 15 invention that the world needs right now which we don't have so i'm always that kind of person who comes up with crazy ideas so i don't know where i will land next but i'm open to any genres yeah 
more, maybe like 10 or 12 years or so. so. Why did you particularly choose that era of the Nana history and not why this modern era of Nana? I mean, the modern lifestyle of the Nanas. I already divided two timelines. So part one, since this is the origin story. You all know the origin story of Spider-Man, right? A spider beat him, he had the superpower, right? So Molong Ki also needed an origin story. So I thought like 1704 is a good time because there people worship uh, nature, right? During that time, especially Naga. So I found it very much relatable to take the story to that point of time and also start the journey from there. Pardon? Is there any specific that you are using Mulong, the name of it? Oh, Mulong Ki. Mulong Ki, the meaning is uh, a house that shelters people. No? So, this is very much relatable to the character. As you read the book, you will see that uh, even though he is not the superhero that people have asked for, but destiny has brought him to that direction, he continues to have those qualities, selfless qualities, to do good for the people, to correct the past mistakes, and to better the future. So what better name can uh, our main character have other than Molonki, right? So I really thought about it also. It took me a lot of time to come up with a name because name should represent the person, the character, right? So it was one challenge, yeah. What do you expect the future would be to you? Publishing this book was a challenge. We all dream, but when we, it comes to doing things into action, it's not easy. Nah? So, this book is a testimony of how my dreams have come true. And I will not just uh, bask in the glory of this. Oh, I wrote this book. Now let me just uh, enjoy a very comfortable life. No. I will aspire to write better books. I will aspire to write uh, books that will touch different issues, that will help people voice out what they have within themselves. No? So I'll try to uh, write more books in the coming days. And for me, there is no end now. This is only the beginning for me. So I'm really passionate and hopeful about my future as well. This collaboration that we have started today uh, will not end here, but rather, as he said, this will be a new beginning for our college and uh, with Alan as well. Looking forward to your books, yes, looking yes. forward to your contribution towards the society even in days to come. So with this, I thank all the students and the teaching faculties also for being part of the Business Club program. Thank you. Drink this and get more health. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lin, for coming and visiting us. It's very near.
extent where this So finally the program is over and so we are going back home. So this is the college, Eastern Christian College. something about your book also in a gist yeah in short my book becoming the light is about nagaland's first superhero so as we all love superheroes let us also continue to show him love and you can do that by buying my book and also supporting the cause yeah <laughs> 